Let's go to Jared in Boston listening on BCN. Jared, what's up? Hey, boys. How you doing? Hey. I got a, uh, Patrice, I got a black, uh, black man's quote for you. Go ahead. Which way's north? Linger, linger! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's being suggested by a few people on uh, instant feedback that we should say uh, good morning to all the people waking up from their comas. Oh, wow. Because they got knocked out sometime in the summer, and they're finally waking up to Christmas music. We always uh, talk about that in the summertime when you're walking around, and uh, some gentleman might come up to you and ask you for the time, or ask which way is north, or just uh, any question on the street. And as you turn to point or look at your watch, um, for a split second, you feel a little stinging. You hear a ring in your ears. It's, it's, it's probably... Uh, 90 degrees out on the streets of New York. And then the next thing you know, you're slowly waking up and you hear, <clears throat> you hear a little Christmas music. Was, no, I didn't set it up long enough to actually have a God effing Christmas song maybe queued I, up. I got it right here. Oh, goody. A little Christmas yeah, music. Oh, which way is north? Oh, well, let me see. It's right. <laughs> 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 what I, I'm just, <laughs> wait a minute, it was just 90 degrees. I was just getting my fireworks for the 4th of July. Is that what? a Negro hitting you on the head with something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Black people don't hit you. What, what have you ever heard somebody getting hit in the head with, a, with one of those blackjacks and then you're in a coma? Yeah, well, it's a uh, uh, cobblestone. <laughs> well, what do you watch, Kojak? And seriously. Where, where they chop you on your neck and you pass out? It's not Hawaii 5 -0. No one does that. It's usually a homeless a guy. Karate chop to the shoulder. All right. Hi Pop, yeah. And you're Pop, sleeping. Oh, and right. you go to sleep. Well, let's uh, hear it again. <laughs> Here's the spot pinch. Look, you're a good Samaritan. You're just trying to tell this fine gentleman which way is north. <laughs> it's it's the 4th of July around there, 4th of July weekend, and this is what happens. Yeah, uh, which way is north? Oh, well, let me see. It's right. <laughs> And, that, right. and then just say again to the Christmas music because he's finally waking up from his. Car. He wakes up, he looks oh, out the window, it's day. snowing out, and he's like, "Wait a minute, what? It was just hot. <laughs> it was just ninety degrees." You know how awful you are. That home. This is implying. <laughs> well, this even adds to more white hysteria. All right. It's just arbitrary. Homeless black men will knock you out and put you in a coma. Now, <laughs> when are you going to stop? <laughs> Hey, we're you allowed. don't think that happens that people ask you a question I, to distract homeless, you and then punch you in the side of the head? A homeless black man hitting you over the head? <laughs> well, who said I've he's homeless? Never heard no, it. I said homeless people. Oh, he said oh, homeless oh. people. No, that, no, I was talking about just. The, and not black, talking black, about black, getting, black you know. people don't hit you over your head and knock you out and no, take no, your the money. sucker punch. That's the sucker punch. No one does that. I've seen it on security videos. Yeah. You walk up, you're saying hi, hello, and then and then some dopey idiot turns his head and points, and bam, the overhand oh, right, right to the top of his head, and that guy is I, out until winter. I reject that. That's Do a you? scene from Crash. <laughs> 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 I reject that. I just reject that. I reject that it. because it was in a movie. I'm white people say on, at every level. It's just... Good it's, for you. I don't hear about... It's, I don't hear it. It's, it's just our dumb bit, Patrice, and, and it's based on the fact that we <clears> get up very early... And we have to walk to this into the building, and there's some uh, suspicious people around. And this, just, this there, one there have been times days. I've walked in the middle of the street because uh, you know. Let's be honest with people here. Uh, okay. Let's just be honest with them. When's the last time you walked in the middle of any street in New York City? Um, very early in the morning on my way here. Uh, it was um, probably a couple of years ago. <laughs> and, and even but, then, a homeless black dude almost robbed you. No, no, but there was something like I was, you know, you get that instinct that goes, I shouldn't really be in close proximity to that guy. So I'm going to go out in the street and when, there, you know, there's a couple of cars going, you could Have see you me. Have you ever had a close call in terms of somebody robbing you? Uh... No, because I'm safe. Mugged. I have like a. Have sixth you ever sense. been mugged? You rolled a blade through the streets with blue. I, I, I had my uh, black man incident when I was living in Buffalo. I've told him many times. I almost got raped by a black man. <laughs> that doesn't count because he thought she was a girl. Right, true. That I had the long hair. I'm constantly on guard, though. They call me paranoid. You have. Well, I've Crazy. been an armed robbery. I, mean, I had a gun pointed at me and my girlfriend uh, years ago in a McDonald's. But black man, uh, right? Yeah, three of them been ski masked in August. And um, how do you know they were black? You. Because they weren't wearing they weren't wearing uh, mittens. 
<laughs> what do you think they held the guns with? <laughs> their pockets and applied them? <laughs> they didn't do the finger in the pocket? Yeah. Hey, Muggsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they weren't wearing black mittens in July. I know oh. he was black because he put his hand in his pocket and said, stick him up, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> I can't believe that, man. Yeah, that, was, that was kind of scary, man. You guys, uh, it, it's just we're grossly, we just grossly misrepresent. But we, we are no. more afraid of black people probably than we should be. It only it. takes one black guy in a hoodie, like, an inch away from your face, seeing if you're a girl, to make you a little scared of black people. I have a question. Yeah. Just quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How come we're not afraid of some, like, I should really theor theoretically be afraid of some 25 to 35-year-old white guy that uh -huh. just will arbitrarily shoot me? And, and with other people, because why they're, aren't, why aren't I looking at y'all with the same? Because they're uh -oh. few, they're few and far between, and they shoot other white people. Same thing with black people. We shoot each other. We yeah, shoot a bunch. You should take it but, as a compliment. You, but, guys, you, you guys are are uh, this this. You're scary. <laughs> to most white I don't people. think we are anymore. To most, to nah. most white people, because then, you're then, then the scariness. white guys would call up like, "I ain't scared of no right, right, right." But in general, white people are scared of black guys. It's just a fact. I don't know why or where it comes from. Are you? Uh, a little bit. If oh, I'm what, being what, honest. What level? What level? Just really? a little bit. Not, not to the, like, oh, the paranoia like, state that this well, I just don't, like, I just situation, don't own the in a situation, in a situation, what would scare you <clears throat> about a black guy? Just in a situation. Honestly, not many. I don't need, not many. I don't know. Like, uh, walking into the building at the, when we do it quite early, it, Every once in a while, there's uh, there's people walking down the sidewalk. I would say a, ga a gang a of youths about, yeah. a gang of youths walking down the street and me walking up the street. Uh, that would scare me. Um, Mardi Gras in New Orleans, walking oh, down the street. Wow, we watched just we we stood on the balcony and watched that's a gang of black guys of yes. punching white guys in the face <laughs> and fondling <laughs> their their girlfriends. Patrice, if we, we just gonna, watched this from a balcony. If we're gonna keep amazed. this, if we're gonna keep this honest, you know, it, he is absolutely right. I was stunned. It was about this, nine black guys. Katrina, Katrina, yeah, it was yeah. before Katrina. No, these guys, these guys pre Katrina, yeah. These guys pre Katrina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Patrice, these guys finally got arrested, but it was an amazing scene what we were watching. These you you would and because we we're on a balcony, we would see the white couple walking up the side. Oh, like, oh, just no. white couples, no the only no, white, no. only just white. Just enjoying the, uh, Mardi Gras. They got the big hurricane drinks and they're just like taking in the scene right on Bourbon Street. And they would get to the where the yeah. black guys were and, and they'd start molesting like the the girl uh, and they'd start like grabbing her everywhere she shouldn't be grabbed. We, and the guy goes like, "Hey, what the hell are you doing?" and just. Bam! Gets punched in the face, and then everyone just points at him so and they, laughs. They would start the, the the kind of short, short kind of small raping, and yeah. then knock him out almost to say, "Mind your business." They were yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, were yeah. knocking yeah. him out. What I, they were doing was they were hitting him. It was almost like it was so crowded. The streets were mobbed. Bam! Just walking, but we could see this group of black guys that they had to walk <laughs> through on, on this particular part of the sidewalk. They weren't they weren't putting guys on the ground. And and beating them and pummeling them, but no, they were. They were just great. It was one all, sucker punch. They, got, they yeah. were they were a bitch business. slap. They, they were a problem. And there was then, a, a kid that could have been nine arrested. years old along with them, just taunting. Yeah, a nine-year-old kid, yeah, all, just taunting. Uh, that Mardi Gras. I don't white I don't, people. I don't miss going down there for Mardi Gras, man. I yeah. do not miss that. It sucks. That was. Oh my god. Yeah, it was crazy. Patrice, I got. I'm with Anthony on this one. It was it was insane what we were watching. Excuse me. Um, can you? I mean, can you not touch my? Can you not? Right. Yeah. My girlfriend. Could you just please? not? What? Just leave her alone. It puts you in a really bad what? position because you know you got to pop defend her honor, and you're like, I'm not going to win this situation. This is bad. Can your relationship survive you as your as your woman is being fondled? Can your relationship survive you going to Sweden? Just Mike, take it like a trooper. Mike from because I want all, I like my teeth. Mike from Jersey. What am I gonna really do? Right, a couple squeezes or my teeth. Let's just uh, let's work out work out something here. Oh, Mike from Jersey makes a really good point. Where, where's Mikey there? He's down the line. All right. Yeah. Hey, Mike. What's up, man? Listen, you should let 99% of the black people ruin it for all the rest of them. <laughs> 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 that should have been one of the quotes of the year. That was 